good to be home, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. That arraignment went fast. Tom's experience is really going to pay off. I, I, I have this feeling that he's going to get the charges dropped in no time. And then you'll go back to normal things, like hockey practice and homework, taking out the garbage. You think things are going to be normal? Mom, I just spent the night in jail. You must be starving. I'll get you something to eat, OK? I'm going to go take a shower. OK. What are we going to do? We just need some time. He told us, Jack. He told us that Sam was a liar, that we shouldn't trust him. But I didn't believe him. Why didn't I believe him? Everything's going to be OK, Carly. No, you know, you don't know that. I'm the mother. I'm supposed to be able to fix this, and I can't. school and I let them know that you weren't going to be in today and that JJ was going to pick up your homework assignments. Okay. Hey, you know, we've been through bad stuff before. Mm, not this bad. I'll call Tom and we'll get a strategy together for how we're going to help you, all right? Good luck with that. Uh, don't be so negative, honey. No one is going to punish you for saving me. And that? Parker, we are doing everything we can to protect you. You know that, right? It's too late. Sam's dead. I killed him. Okay, we are going through all these formalities because we have to. But in the end, everyone will understand that you did this to help your mom. What if they don't? Hey, look at me. You saved me from a horrible man. No one will punish you for that. So ain't this sweet. I hate to interrupt your family time, but now I get my say. Sam's dead? And you didn't even call me, Carly? I am so sorry. I'm out on the road and I get a call from a cop telling me my Sam is dead. Have you any idea how that made me feel? I know. It's awful. It is. Yeah, it is. Because your Parker killed my Sam. Hey, you need to calm down. Kid. Don't you tell me what to do. There are things about Sam that you don't know. Oh, like what? He's dead, Carly. He's dead. What I mean else to say? Back off, kid. Oh, like your boy? Did he back off when he blew Sam away? Hey, he said stop it. Yeah, he should have been locked up the minute he started spreading rumors about Sam. He's a murderer. All right, that's it. You gotta go now. Sam loved me. All he wanted to do was make people happy, and your son goes and kills him. It's not Parker's fault. This is Sam's fault. He's dead, Kit, because he tried to rape me. You're a liar. Sam ain't no rapist. You let him on. Get your hands off of me. He attacked me, kid. Oh, you've always been so jealous of me and Sam. So Parker goes and kills him so you and Jack can get Sam tried to force himself on Carly. Parker stopped him. Oh, that's such bull. Your son is a cold-blooded murderer. I'm going to make sure they throw the book at you, kid. They're going to lock you up and get throw it. Out. Get out. She's got a big mouth. She can't do anything to you. You don't know that. She wasn't there, honey. She didn't see Sam attacking me. Parker, she was just mouthing off. Nothing, nothing she says matters. Nothing. Hey. Hey, sorry to drop by unannounced. Is there news? Parker, I'd really like to talk to your parents privately. Parker, take your plate to the kitchen, OK? What is it? The DA is thinking about trying Parker as an adult. What? Can't Margot do something? What exactly does that mean? 
If Parker's convicted, we're looking at 20 to life. This just came from forensics. Are they sure about this? Absolutely. Well, this definitely complicates things. Go we'll talk to Tom, Jack. I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. You don't have to be so brave, you know. I want to hear what Tom has to say. Okay. Jack, margot has got to do this by the book. Well, can't you speak to the DA? Isn't she on our side here? I heard what you told my parents. Yeah, Parker, I'm going to do everything I can to fight that, but I did want to let your parents know so there weren't any more surprises. Excuse me. Margo. I am so sorry to intrude, but I have to go over a few things with Parker. You covered the bases last night. I know, but I have a few more questions. Tom told us about the DA's plan. It's a tough situation, but nothing's written in stone yet. So why are you here? I want to take Parker to Metro. I have to clarify a few details. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. He does not need to go through this again. Do we have to do that, Tom? Your son is a suspect in a murder investigation. I highly recommend that you cooperate at this point. Can we do this at the station? No. I, I don't want to go back there. You, you don't have to, honey. You know, Carly, maybe we should do what Margo wants. Maybe, maybe this will help Parker. He just got home, Jack. He's exhausted. We should go over the details while they're still fresh in his mind. We'll be right there with Parker. I don't like this. This feels like some kind of setup, Jack. Let Parker run through it. And then maybe Margo will wake up and realize that Parker shouldn't be charged with the crime at all. Margo, I, I think that you need to know what I was going through before Parker got here, how Sam was attacking me. Yes, yes, and we will get your statement on record, but right now I need to know Parker's version of the events. So, can we start at the beginning? I wanted Sam dead. Parker, Parker not another word. Parker, I need you to answer questions about what happened that night. Nothing more. Yeah, but you know what I meant. We do, but you gotta be careful about what you say, buddy. Uh, Margo, you need to give us a little leeway here. He's, he's just a kid. I know, but he's the prime suspect in a murder case. Well, he says he showed up, saw someone attacking his mother, and put a bullet in him. There are two bullets in Sam. That's not true. Par Parker shot Sam once. Forensics found two bullets. I assume the bullets that were tested came from the same gun? Yes. Parker, how many times did you shoot Sam? One! He shot once! I heard it! Carly, please, I'm asking Parker. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this was some kind of setup. Parker was not some crazed killer on a rampage. How could you do this to us? You gotta come down. I'm not gonna calm down! She won't even take my statement. I was almost raped for God's sake. If she listened to what happened here, she wouldn't push it this far. You cannot do this to my son! Okay. I know you think you're protecting Parker, but you're making it harder for him, Carly. Parker shot Sam once, Jack. I was right here. I heard it. Jack, you know the drill. Margaret's allowed to ask these questions as hard as it is. Let her just do her job. I realize that, Tom. I just didn't... I... I didn't realize how difficult it would be. And if you keep interrupting, she's going to order you out. We don't want to make things harder for Parker, OK? I'm sorry. Hey, can you just answer Marco's questions, OK? Tell her everything, because the sooner you do, the sooner we can get out of here. I don't think I can. We'll be right here. It's all right. Okay, Parker, um, can you show me exactly what happened? You think you can do that? Try. Where did you enter the club? I came in the front door. Um, Sam had my mom on the couch over there. He was grabbing her. 
and she was screaming and he just wouldn't stop. She had this look in her eyes. Where were you standing? Oh. Was right here. My mom was over there. She couldn't stop him. Okay, Parker. Do you remember holding the gun? Can you show me? He was on top of her. He was pulling at her clothes. He was kissing her. But then he sat up for a second. Then I pulled the trigger and he dropped. I heard him hit the floor. All right, thanks. I know this is really hard for you. You're doing a great job. I need you to be very clear with me now. How many times did you shoot, Sam? Tell the truth, buddy. I don't know. We need to take Parker home now. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Jack. I had to do this. Doesn't make it any easier, Martin. Don't leave town. By the book. I know. Tom, I'll see you later. Let me make a statement. The man was attacking me. Margo has to establish a timeline that she will hear your side of things. Parker, why didn't you say anything to anyone about Sam's threats before this happened? I did. No one believed me. We didn't listen to him, Tom. We, we, we thought he was making it up because he was so angry with me. I didn't want you to get hurt. Listen, you guys have been through enough today. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I will be in touch if there's any news, OK? Come on, let's go home. I'm proud of you, Papa. You told the truth. It's really bad, isn't it? Well, it's not as open and shut as I thought it would be. But Tom's a great lawyer. We just have to hope that Margo will stand up to the DA. But there's still a chance I could go to jail, isn't there? We're not going to let that happen. I'm trying to believe you, Mom. It's hard. I'll be upstairs. Okay. Twenty years to life. How can they even consider doing that to him? Yeah. I'm just as scared as you are. I'm a cop, and if I can't protect my own son, what's the point? If only I'd listen to him, Jack. Hey, you're not alone in this. I'm just as responsible as you are. We both failed Parker before. But I swear, we won't fail him again.